<laughs> oh, bewilder ape, you dirty fucking ape. I have voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. You might think the video segment you just watched is an exaggeration, but the level of hysteria and rage among those who oppose Anita Sarkeesian and call themselves Gamergate behave precisely in that way. Because only Gamergate would act so, so fucking childish over the fact that Anita Sarkeesian has an opinion. <laughs> But we all know that this isn't even remotely accurate. So yeah, no fucking shit is an over-exaggeration. Just listen to what Mundane Matt had to say when you learnt about Stop Gamergate 2014. 1.2 million goddamn uses of the Gamergate hashtag since August 28th. And yes, it's a, you think it's about sexism? You think it's about misogyny or racism? Have you read what's been thrown at us? Have you seen what's been said about us? Have you seen what's been said about me or Boogie or Total Biscuit? Have you seen what's been written about Jordan Owen and Davis Arini? Internet Aristocrat, King of Pole, all these fucking people, man. Have you seen what the fuck has been tell, spewed about them just because they want to talk about the fucking issues? Just as you know, I understand his anger. That's it. Yeah, I'm mad. I am livid mad right now. Because this is bullshit. Stop Gamergate 2014. That is crap. Monday Matt's rant is typical of the hysteria and rage that he and other leaders of Gamergate frequently use to mask their lies and delude themselves into thinking they are anything but total assholes. Holy fuck is this wrong! Take for instance the case of Jordan Owen and Davis Arini. Have you seen what's been written about Jordan Owen and Davis Arini? You think it's about misogyny? Let's see what Davis Arini has to say about women. Women in our culture have become the most decadent sluts since the fall of Rome, going out for gangbangs every weekend and despising the men that would actually treat them with love, dignity, and respect. You know, this video reminds me of people who support MGTOW. And, you know, I'm not part of MGTOW myself. However, I can understand their position, seeing that feminists are trying to, well, you get the idea, <sighs> become total fucking assholes. These feminists who tell women that they're oppressed because a system called the patriarchy is oppressed. And pretty much almost every fucking feminist out there will tell you that men are potential fucking rapists. That these men, the cisgender white men, are nothing more than fucking monsters. 90% of women are sluts, according to Davis Arini. You mean fucking assholes. Privilege fucking assholes. As if being a slut is necessarily a bad thing in the first place. However, what is more disturbing is that Monday Matt and others cannot see what is wrong with Davis Arini's views on women. Listen to what Jordan Owen has to say, and listen to the dishonesty of Davis Arini when he's caught out as a misogynist. Um, I've watched that video like five times trying to figure, rationally figure out what's so monstrous about it, and um... Is, is that the one where I say we have the most degenerate sluts since Rome? Yeah. Like, like is, is this guy arguing that... Roman sluts were more degenerate than modern sluts? No, you stupid fuckwit. He wasn't debating whether ancient sluts were more degenerate than modern sluts. He was pointing to the fact that you think women's sexual freedom is degenerate, and that you think most Western women are degenerate. That is, you hate 90% of women for expressing and enjoying sexual freedom. As for Jordan Owen, he watched the video five times and could not see anything wrong with Irene's portrayal of women. Monday, Matt and Jordan Owen must be sharing the same blinders. Neither can see Irini's blatant hostility towards women. This sort of reminds me of the time that the Amazing Atheist um, was considered, you know, being repeatedly shown um, 
on how much he's a sexist by thinking that one woman deserves to get raped years ago. And his response was this, that he was fucking angry. You know, you say stupid shit when you're angry. So... Hello. So how does Monday Matt defend Irene's misogyny? If you are going to accuse somebody of something, then you had better be willing to listen to the counter evidence that that does not support that claim. And what is the counter argument? I filmed that video like four years ago. Yeah, it's really popular, which is why I left it up, because I don't want to... I've taken down videos I didn't think were very good, you know, but I don't yeah. want to take some... I don't want to deny that I said something, so yeah. I don't know. If you go back four years on my channel, you can find me saying shit that's like flat-out socialist. I mean, we evolve over time. So the counter-argument you want us to hear is an unsupported assertion that Irini isn't misogynistic. And even if he was, it was a few years ago, and doesn't matter now. Fuck you, mundane Matt. When people tried to explain to you and your small-minded group of idiots that Anita Sarkeesian had changed her mind about being a gamer over a couple of years, you assholes continued to insist that she had lied. This is a massive false equivalence right here. First of all, you're comparing someone's opinion on a certain group of people in this case, David Zarini and women, and Anita Sarkeesian claiming that she's a gamer. You know, she changed her mind on video games. That now all of a sudden that she's a gamer. Yeah, about, what, two years ago? Where she lied? I mean, picking up a controller in your and just holding it like this and just saying that you're a gamer doesn't make you a fucking gamer. That's like someone making scrambled eggs and then all of a sudden this guy will claim that he's a fucking cook because he makes scrambled eggs. Not to mention that Anita Sarkeesian has been stealing Let's Play footages for quite some time now. That uh, uh, she asks for money to buy video games and instead what does she do? You know, it's not enough that she got in all those fucking games. No, no, no. She needs to steal Let's Play footages from other YouTubers. Which begs the question, why the fuck do you even need that money whatsoever? It's not like your video quality has improved or anything. Technically, yes. Anita Sarkeesian is a gamer. But I doubt Anita Sarkeesian even loved the video games that she plays. And I am very, very, very doubtful that Anita Sarkeesian is a expert in video games. You want someone that is far more um, intelligent and to talk about video games, go to Christina Summers, aka the factual feminist, because she is more inclined to review video games than Anita Sarkeesian is. Pretty much every Fucking gamer is inclined to review any fucking video game. And suggested that this supposed lie proved she was a complete and total liar in everything. And now, when Irene's past bullshit catches up to him, which is far worse than anything Anita said, you want to excuse him and say, it doesn't matter what he said then. Fuck you and your bullshit excuses. I want you to fucking talk because that's all we need to do, guys. All we need to do is fucking talk. That is it. We don't need threats. We don't need fucking bullshit. We just need to talk. That is it. And I'm reading through these goddamn comments and I'm seeing what these fucking people are saying. And I'm just, I'm shocked. I'm, I'm just, I'm shocked. And I'm just like defeated because I sit there and I'm like, are you, are you mad? I just want to write back. Are you mad? People are telling you that they're not guilty of something, right? But instead of listening, you're just like, no, you're a fucking asshole. Blocked. And then you gloat about it on your Twitter. It's because you are a fucking asshole. You say you want to talk? Watch Logic Bomb's videos and talk about that. Watch Hannibal the Victor 13's videos and talk about those counter arguments. Trust me, I've seen the videos. They're total fucking bullshit. And I may get around... Um, Hannibal Lecter later on in his video response towards mine 
Oh, it's gonna be a long... But you don't, do you? I guess the last question I just have for you ultimately breaks down to this. Man, how the fuck do you live with yourself? No, honestly, I mean that. I've read some of your comments. And they're far worse. Far more hurtful. Far more damaging. Than anything I've seen coming out of Gamergate. Firstly, I know I'm an asshole. And secondly, it takes one to know one. And I know you are a fucking asshole too. I'm kind of curious on how Monday Matt is an asshole. Like, please explain. Why is he an asshole? Because he doesn't, uh, quote-unquote, respond to criticism? Because I've seen some of the things that uh, Monday Matt has said, and it doesn't seem very asshole -ish. If anything, it's the likes of Unseen Purity, who, 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 which, by the way, uh, uh, what's his name? Vindicator made a video about Unseen Purity on how Unseen Purity doesn't even respond to criticism. He just basically show you know, say that uh, Monday Matt is an asshole, and that's it, you know, doesn't respond to criticism whatsoever. I mean, he does, but he does it in a very pathetic way. <sighs> I've been in a debate with this guy, and trust me when I say this, this guy doesn't have any real argument. So don't whine about the hurtful things people say. People have been saying hurtful things to Anita and others long before Gamergate came along. And now that assholes like me are weighing in on the conversation and will tell you up front what a fucking asshole you are, you better learn to swallow that shit because people like you involved in Gamergate have been stirring up abuse for a long time before I came along. So fight fire with fire, right? Well, hate to break it to you, but that doesn't work. You want to fight fire, use water. Either change your fucking attitude or get used to it. How do you live with yourself? How do you spread these lies, spread this bullshit, and call it activism, truth, subjective at best, lies at worst? And probably the reality of it is somewhere in the center. How? I can stand up here and own my own problems. I can own what I've done. You won't. But you instead choose to vilify a group of people who simply want to discuss video games. The problem here is you can't own up to the fact you are an asshole. And how I sleep at night is the same way you do Matt. I'm just like you but on the other side of the fence. I justify what I'm doing the same way you justify what you are doing. And so long as your associates and followers want to call me a feminist, an SJW, a mangina, a white knight or any of the other derogatory slurs you throw my way, I will give them back in kind. I have given up on trying to have a conversation with you and your associates. You want a war, you will get your fucking war. Keep in mind, it wasn't us that started a war. It's the gaming journalist who declared war on gamers by saying that gamers are dead. So if you want to start a war, that's fine. And I know just the person who would start with. Yours truly. That's right. I'm your opponent right now. So. If it helps, I'll draw a big, fat, ugly bullseye on my forehead. So that way, you can throw whatever shit you have to offer. I am the Atheist Gamer, and more videos are coming this way. Peace, the game. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. And of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and... Ugh, Google Plus. We all know Google Plus fucking sucks.